time for the fourth instalment of our week-long series looking at places around the country with unique claims to fame as recommended by you, the One Show viewers. Tonight we're off to Tregothnan near Truro in Cornwall to meet a farmer whose business suits him to a tea. From historic fishing villages to world-renowned surfing hotspots and a language all of its own, this county isn't short on claims to fame. But I'm not here in search of the catch of the day or to surf a giant wave. I'm on a plant hunt, looking for the shrub that provides our national drink. And it's grown just over there. This, of course, is Cornwall cream tea country. Every year, hungry tourists devour thousands of them, pouring millions into Cornish coffers. In short, the cream tea is big business. And it's all down to the Cornish climate. Plenty of sunshine to ripen supersized fruit for the jam. And happy cows in green meadows equal lashings of clotted cream. But what about the tea? Surely you can't grow that here, can you? On the Tregothnan estate, they say yes, you can. It is home to the UK's only tea plantation. Ten years ago, garden director Jonathan Jones began growing tea on the banks of the River Fowl between Falmouth and Truro. Is he mad? Jonathan, how on earth can you grow tea bushes like these here in Cornwall? This is just like Darjeeling. Temperatures, rainfall, soil pH, all of those things that you need for tea are found just in this area of Tregothnan. How much do you produce here? We're looking at about a tonne a year, but that will grow in time. Do we drink as much tea as coffee? We drink uh, about a third more tea, worldwide I'm talking, than coffee. Tea is second only to water, do you know that? He might have written more, but the clock struck four, and everything stopped for tea. Snap. That's it. Lovely. Jonathan, these are fresh in from the plantation. What happens to this tea next? These will be withered, rolled, oxidised and dried. So the next stage is rolling, like this. What you're doing is rupturing the leaves and allowing those juices or um, chemicals within the leaf to oxidise with each other. The original plants may have come from Darjeeling in India, but Cornish tea bushes start out life on a local UK farm. Farmer Jeremy Hoskins raises the tiny plants. Two years ago, we were asked by Jonathan to, um, to actually take on some of his tea seedlings. This year, we then potted them into a larger pot, and we'll be growing these on for another year, uh, ready for uh, planting out at Tregothnan. And what's the main challenge in growing tea bushes from scratch? Really just um, very slow growing compared to the vegetable plants that we usually, we usually raise. Have you ever grown tea before? Never. No, never done it before. But uh, because we grow so many different types of vegetable, we, we, felt we'd, we thought we'd give it a go. So, a tea plantation in the depths of Cornwall, whatever next. And guess what? The tea that's grown here isn't just for us Brits. They're even exporting it to China. Now, that really is a claim to fame. Excellent. Cornish tea, we have some here. Do help yourself to everything, Joe, with our compliments. Um, Carol, let's test you on tea. Let's see what you've uh -oh. got. Um, what's this, for example? What is that? Oh, well, I think that actually might be the most expensive tea bag in the world. How much? Uh, 7,500, included 280 diamonds. I hope it improved the flavour of the cuppa. Magnificent. Wow. Number two, what's this all about here? Oh, this is the largest tea party ever held, apparently, in India for yeah. something like 32,681 guests. OK, and finally? Uh, oh, well... It's not like tea. Yes, they No, do. no. Um, Mid-18th century, apparently, tea aged out ale and gin to become yeah. our most popular beverage. That's great, but at this hour, Adrian, yeah. I prefer gin and tonic. Cheers, and man. why not? We advocate <laughs> responsible <laughs> drinking here on The One Show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> had, had you had...